This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm never here alone. I've got the crew, Ewa Ritsu and Ife Oluwa Shoke. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Full squad. Ife, where were you from on the previous Can episode, I'm, please? I'm lean. You're Can lean? I lost weight. So? so? I went to unleash the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because we know what, what you want to do. What did you eat? Using that unleashed <laughs> dragon is that, is that nice. I don't know. What did you eat? Eh? What did you eat? Funny enough, mm -hmm. I'm nice you ask because um, I heard your name. Ewa. Yeah. You didn't hit my name. Come on. That was what I had for but I had you for breakfast. Girl. Her name is Beauty, oh. not Beans. No, I had <laughs> Ewa. Ewa. For breakfast. Not Ewa. Not Ewa. No, Ewa. I had you for breakfast. Hey. No! <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I had you for breakfast. No, please. Yeah. If uh, Father is watching, I need him to collect my bride price complete. But mm. you know, I always have you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ha! God, this is slack. Mm. We need to move on because I don't understand the kind of breakfast they have mm. now, but at least I know I'm having tea. While Felicity Hoffman is reportedly doing really well in prison as she serves her two-week sentence in her role in the college administration scandal, Lori Loughlin's daughters who withdraw from USC as parents await fate in college admission scandal. The University of South Carolina confirms that Olivia and Isabella are not currently enrolled at the university after their statuses were put on hold earlier this year. Confirming the news, the university registrar said, and I quote, we are unable to provide additional information because of student privacy laws, end of quote. It is not clear if the girls voluntarily withdrew from the university or they were kicked out by the USC due to their parents' involvement in the case. Sources told TMZ that the U.S. attorney is open to a plea discussion um, with Lachlan. So, um, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, firstly, um, I want to say, um, unlike Hoffman, we don't know if um, the kids were aware of this mm -hmm. alleged um, fraud because it's still alleged because they haven't been and they're still denying it right so we don't know if, if they were aware but if they were not imagine how they will feel because now we don't even know if they were kicked out or they withdrew how mm -hmm. to shame because mm -hmm. if i was there people and i got in legally and then i see you in my school and i know your mom is going through a five hundred thousand dollar scandal i'll probably be like no you don't deserve to be here no i'm saying i won't do that but mm -hmm. i'm saying that some kids will probably you will. <laughs> No, I won't do that. No. Yeah, you will do I, it. I won't do that. I won't do that. I'm mm -hmm. honest to step on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you okay. do, maybe I'll let you know. I, I know that your mother yeah. is in jail. <laughs> well, yeah, you. I just said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would just say. Okay. So, you know that kind of thing. So, we don't know if they would do like that because of the privacy of the students. But um, imagine if they didn't know anything about this mm -hmm. how would they be feeling right now which is why i always advocate for parents believing your kids it's okay to fail the person who made electricity tried 99 times before he got it right mm -hmm. do you understand he failed over and over and over and over again so it's okay to fail there's actually nothing wrong with failing a matter of a failure is a is a, is a sign that you're actually trying mm -hmm. do you understand if you don't fail then you're not trying do you understand? So that's just the truth. So allow your kids fail every once in a while, but don't be a dullard, kids. <laughs> so back to the story. Um, this is a very, very dicey one because I feel sorry for these kids. Mm. Because I'm sure that's probably like the university of their dreams, and now mm -hmm. they don't even have the chance to, to, be there. to, to be there and enjoy their life as normal teenagers. But they said they're living their best life anyway. They were at um, Wyatt's party, Justin Bieber was there, and then I think one of the girls, like, they, were, they still went to the party, and their mom is still going through trial, so they mm. said they're still living like normal teenagers. Okay. But that's a miracle for you anyways, but... I mean, that's what people will say, that they are living their life as normal but teenagers. what happens behind the curtain? You know, I mean, they, I'm sure, like you said, it won't be easy for them. Even if they gain admission into another school legally, students there will still not... Yeah, look at back Yeah, you know, they will mm -hmm. still be like, we're well, not sure if... You yeah, actually you, got you, I mean, you know, there are I mean, bullies. Everywhere. Actually, when you give them a reason to bully you. Right, and it, there's enough reason to bully them already. They have money, they are rich. You get, Especially with the online with trolls. Your, I mean, people will come for them. I can only imagine what they are going through, like, deep down inside them or in their room. Beyond the facade. Be, you know, they feel very terrible. Mm. I don't even know how they, if, like you first said, if they are not aware of this whole thing, how would, how would their mother even look into their eyes and tell them she's sorry because... 
it's a very heartbreaking thing that you put your life out there in public, mm. not even in a good light, but in a very bad Negative. light. Well, mm -hmm. let's talk about the case itself. Um, the attorney is saying, or the sources are saying that the attorney, they are very open to her taking a plea deal. You know, she rejected the plea deal mm. initially, but now they are saying they are open to it because they don't know how it will um, be perceived if she is tried and then sentenced, giving a higher sentence than someone like Hoffman and all that. So, well, no, but anybody. Money, no? Apart from that, I mean, yeah. Elfman didn't stress them that much. She mm. has stressed them. So if she gets more sentence, I mean, she deserves it. Mm. Why lie and drag the whole thing? Yeah, if which you is know what we talked guilty. about with um, um, Naira Mali, Mali, Mali Mad this okay, morning. Yeah. Is it Mal Mad Mali or Mali, 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 Mali Mali Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least it's come out to just say, I mean, I'm guilty, right? So it mm. makes the process easy and not stress people. At least be remorseful and. Sending you to a correctional facility is actually to correct you. So if you're beginning to understand that what you did is wrong, wrong, then maybe the correction mm -hmm. has been done. Do and the way their own um, judiciary system. system is, I mean, if you t if you um, plead guilty, you have the, the um, tendency of getting a reduced sentence. Mm. So why stress the old world when you can just always come out and plead guilty to the case and you just save two weeks or how many weeks? Is <laughs> how many <laughs> more? For two weeks. Because yeah, it's just said it's $500,000. So, yeah, so, so let's she'll do a month. So. Oh, wow. Okay, moving on from that one to the <laughs> next story. Months. Or five months. In honor of Kim Kardashian's um, birthday, Kanye West made a $1 million donation to some of the organizations she supports. Um, Kim Kardashian shared the news via Twitter. She wrote, and I quote, I got amazing gifts from my whole family and Kanye got me um the most amazing bags but he also donated one million dollars to my favorite charities that work um so hard in prison reform on my behalf from him and the kids this makes my heart so happy end of quote the donation was made to criminal justice organization court 50 buried alive project equal justice initiative and anti-recidivism coalition Hmm. Like Kim and Kanye, they are like the perfect combination in this world. I'm not even joking. Okay. And Kanye is such an intelligent man. Every year he gives her a reasonable um, gift, mm. not just something materialistic. Mm. And he's the kind of man that supports her dream in mm. every way. Mm. This is something that he knows that she loves doing, helping people. Kim is out there helping a whole lot of people, even um, black people. She's doing more than what also black people black. are doing. Mm -hmm. Do you get? But she's white. Do you get? She can always decide to ignore. Nobody will hold that response, especially mm. we are kind of person that everybody knows came came Sleep uh, with. you know i mean mm. <laughs> nobody expects her to be doing all this and she's out there doing that and her husband is there supporting her from the beginning to the end in every way he can mm. and i must say kudos to kanye okay. okay i'm going to say two things before i let the fair um say his part so davido will say love is sweet abby when money yeah, enters that, love is sweeter, sweeter. that's one <laughs> and secondly um the previous episode we were talking about how when people have so much money it takes extra effort for you to get them the perfect gift. When we're talking mm. about what Snoop Dogg mm, mm, got mm, for mm. his birthday, and I think that came to mind also when I read what Kanye did, because I feel like, wow, I mean, he knows that. I mean, she has, she has one million dollars, definitely, but he thought of what he could do that would stand out, something mm. that would mean so much to her right now, and this came to mind. So I think this is just beautiful. It is. She said this made her happy. My mind, I'm like, don't be happy. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm happy for them. And I like the fact that she didn't either. It got her back, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, she, Kanye just knows schemes. So yeah. well. like, I know that my wife loves material stuff, but of then she's, such, she's also a good person, and she wants this, too. And it got her the two. Mm -hmm. So... I think Kanye will always be a legend and he does very iconic things. These things are always different because when I saw this, I was like, this is a very smart way to mm -hmm. go because regardless of the fact that he donated the money on our behalf, mm -hmm. his name will still be there one way or another. So mm -hmm. he has also made an impact in people's life, well, indirectly, mm -hmm. do you understand? Because he's doing it for his wife, but indirectly you're making a whole lot of people's lives better. So I think he's a very smart man. He does iconic stuff. And I think that's what comes when you give your life to Christ and you're closer to Jesus. Even before he gave his life to Christ, he has always Okay. Been good <laughs> <laughs> for a quick break, but when we return, it will be time for some relationship drama. We'll be right back.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like. Sleeping, <"Whoa." laughs> <laughs> 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 Welcome back, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story, sex and relationship therapist Jaruma says mothers-in-law are the causes of divorce and marriages. She further stated that Chioma was lucky because she doesn't have any mother-in-law to make her life a living hell. So this one has caused a lot of reaction online, and I think Ewa was just... <laughs> you want to go? No, like, yeah, she should have just ended a story at um, mother-in-laws. Okay, let's. Mother in laws are the main cause of um, divorce. She should have just ended it at that. Mm. They will probably say maybe it's because of what she has seen. Mm. That's why she's saying that. Because f me, I've seen a lot of people that are married and they are. Amazing mother. I mean, mother. they are very happy with their mother in law. The, in fact, the mother in law is like their mom. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Mm. And to say that is very insensitive of her Thank to you. put your mind to the war. picture. Mm. Because the Davido, I'm sure Davido wishes every day that his yeah, mom is alive yeah. to be with um, his wife and no, I know I his you. newborn <laughs> his newborn baby. It's a sad thing. Nobody wishes that I don't want my mom to be alive when mm. I give birth. Mm. And you're saying that is so wrong. I don't know what she, I don't know what she's drinking. I don't know what's happening to her. It but you can't be chasing. <laughs> <laughs> I think make? this cloud chasing thing yeah, it's, it's is it's too... No, that was her. no, you no, you just read my mind that's why i asked do you want to go first because i was hoping that somebody would be on my page that is a very insensitive i've never been a fan well sometimes i like to see some of our crazy <laughs> skits that she puts out say skits <laughs> <laughs> okay i would no, not say anything so most of our posts she put disclaimer that everything is for entertainment mm. so she, sometimes it's not serious yeah it's mm. not oh, really true. yeah okay. she put disclaimer but you i don't follow at all yeah so <laughs> no i see so I, okay not that i yeah sometimes i see some of our crazy skits and all that so um that's a very insensitive thing. If I was David, though, I'll be very offended and Honestly. I'll reach out to you and I'll tell you to take down that post. And if you don't, we will have problems because ah. you are connected, I'm connected. So mm. this one is not scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like do power, power 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 tussle. Tussle, do you understand? You know? Like, you're, you're, I'm connected, you are connected. Forget that your and husband is connected. We know he's more connected. Do you understand? So we do power to our own Yeah, a billionaire senator for that young matter. guy. Yeah, he's a billionaire oh, okay. senator. So. It's so crazy that you would say such a thing about a dead person. How can you even... You, you, you never met that. You don't even know if she'll be a good woman or a bad one, and then you're just there sitting in your room typing just to... So just what are you clouds. insinuating that if David O's mother was around, Choma would have to deal with a bad mother? Mm. In that's, is that what you're insinuating? Yeah, that's not fair. That's, that's I, I also understand where she's coming from, but I think generalizing is wrong, and then bringing Choma into the picture is absolutely wrong, because... Mm. I mean, I don't have my mother, but one of my prayers is that I have to get married to a man who has a, a mom. mom. I mean, I, not even prayer. That's my criteria. I'm sorry. I know you it might be uh, all the time. Uh, it might be unrealistic to some yeah, people. Yeah, very sensitive. I'm sorry. It might be unrealistic to some people, but I know why I want that. So if I'm going to have anything serious with you, then your mom has to be alive because I want that mother mm. feeling What if my mom don't like you? She will like me. We'll find a way to find the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, God I mean, forbid so that the um, mother-in-law will not even like you. Yeah. Yeah. bad mother-in-laws. <laughs> but as much as I say that um, we don't talk about the good things a lot, that's how it happens in that space too. When you have the bad ones, people talk about it. You mm. shout about it. Ah, the mother-in-law is so wicked. When you get to the house, don't sit here. But the good ones, you just say, oh, it's normal. Like, she's just good. She's nice. You know, we don't talk about it a lot. So that's why a Nollywood has not helped the situation. Like, mm. Nollywood has mm. portrayed the, the idea story. Of, so even when the woman is just being her, I mean, there are people that are just a little bit difficult. People take it out of proportion and feel like, oh, she's just been a typical mother-in-law. And there's already a mindset. So I'm hoping that, I mean, I, I feel like there are so many people are not even agreeing so hard. 
based on the comments and even I some read. Women and I think generalizing is just very, very wrong. Even some women get, because of the stereotype um, narrative that has been created, Nollywood has a big role to play in all mm -hmm. of this. Some women actually even go into marriages with this mindset yeah, that's yeah, the and then they come ready already, so when wrong. your mother-in-law is even trying to yeah, just correct to you yeah you are on the mm. descent oh, she's, like, hey, hey, hey. she's probably you know, not yeah, the very accommodating person she just wants her space and you yeah feel, and then you feel oh, like she's oh because, because, yeah. because you already have that mindset you know mm. so um, she's wrong on this one, and I don't know. I know she's my mother is an amazing mother in law okay since you know the husband being a billionaire student or is his mom dead that's what I don't know. Okay. We need I to mean, find if, that out. if uh, now let's assume that his mom is not dead. Mm. What 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 will she explain? What's not even what will she explain? You just have to start imagining. No, you what know, we all know that Jaruma is a cloud chaser. So mm. right now, this might just be oh, you guys should talk okay, about. Okay, what me. if she ends? What if she has this? I don't know if her um, child is a son or daughter, but let's say she has a son now. So she she's praying that she dies before. Her son gets married. Uh, possibly. Oh, yes, that's that. what she's if saying. If what she's insinuating, then I pray <sighs> what she prays for others happens to her. Is that simple? Yeah, I'm to be honest. I'm not apologizing about that. I'm not apologizing about that. Why are you sounding like Lizanne Jorin to me, bro? Hashtag Afrola. Okay, let's move on from that one. So another relationship matter. No love for broke women. This is coming from a social media user, Solomon Bucci. He tweeted and I quote, I can't date a woman that earns less than 250k a month. I'm a high maintenance man. I'm a king and I deserve better. <laughs> Any woman that is earning less than 250k has no business in being in love. What's a broke woman looking for in a relationship? No love for broke women. Thanks. End of quotes. So Our I money. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember that post over Let's never talk about that post. Yeah, that that why is she upset so over? Doesn't she know that when so we're married? It's so annoying. But I think this guy is just being sarcastic because um, there is a popular tweet or people... Yeah, a popular tweet as this that I think he basically just changed mm. um, the woman... Sorry, the man there to a woman, woman and all that. But... No, but this is not um, sarcasm. Because a lot of lazy men mm. will hang on to this. The, no, if I take, that's why I love you. Now you know. <laughs> a lot of lazy men will hang this on to this. Love break. And be like, <laughs> How much do you earn? How much do you love me? So much. Baby. Okay. Back to the story. <laughs> so, a lot of men, lazy men, will hang on to this and be like, Oh, yeah, I can't date him. But if you are high maintenance, then maintain yourself as a man. Mm. Do you understand? That's your job as a man, especially in this patriarchal part of the world mm. where everybody expects the man to do most of the earning, to earn more. Now, feminists don't come for me. I'm not saying that is what I believe. I'm mm. saying that in this part of the world, yeah, believe people too. believe that they men... They should come for me half time. <laughs> no, feminists, feminists <laughs> Was it me and you that we saw a lady in a white um, G-Wagon and then mm -mm -mm. we were like, ah, my, I was, what did I say? I think I said, said my wife must enjoy yeah, this life. Like, mm. and, and then later I had a I was like, not like, what if she what bought the car she's herself? a very hard working mm. woman and she bought the car, but already I had to put it to a man. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That's just the way the mind works. But that woman might just be a single hard working. She doesn't even have a boyfriend. She's hard working and she's making a cool cash and she bought herself a nice car. Mm. But everybody will attribute it to a man. So in this part of the world where people think like that, why would any man be saying that, oh, I'm waiting? And you're not even looking for sugar, you're not even saying the sugar mommy. <laughs> you're talking about relationship, it's you're talking high about high maintenance. Mm. Bro, get a job. I mean, J what you just said is actually important. Mm. He needs to get a job because yeah. I don't know him personally, but I used to know his posts from way back Facebook, and he's actually a young person, mm. but he knows how to write these words that make people. I, I basically don't... endear people mm. to him, right? So it's not like he has so much going on for him. So yeah, please get a job and yeah, I so he doesn't know. have a job. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has a job, actually. He, he, he's always on all he's these platforms, dropping comments, tweeting, and all that. But I, I, I don't know. I like what he first said. It's about, if you say you're high maintenance, then Maintain you have yourself. to take care I mean, of this is what we say to ladies, too, when mm. they talk mm. about how they want to be with rich mm. men. I mean, mm. take care of yourself first mm. before you even think even of somebody else taking care of you. Even if you want a woman earning 250K, then you'll be earning 500, But the real question now is, how many people are earning 250 so all of us should be single. <laughs> single for life. I don't understand. You're not earning up to 250. I mean, I earn more than that. But all I'm saying is, See? when you look, no, oh, hold up. Ah, 
You see why? You see why we must I marry feel you. our wife? I feel you. Our wife. <laughs> our wife. Well, I maintain what that. What will you say? Our wife. Can I be done? Will you marry us? No. Will you marry, please? No. <laughs> so let's, let's propose. Let's <laughs> Baby. We Marius. love you. They say Nigeria is now the capital. <laughs> yeah, they have pool. For poverty <laughs> <laughs> in the world. So meaning that about 80% of Nigerians are really poor. So mm. how many Nigerians earn 250,000 a month to be able to be in love? It means all of us are going to die of depression like this. See, when, when I saw that tweet, I was just like, you have spoken for the people that wants to date him. Mm. I'm, I'm not really bothered. Coming from him, I'm not bothered. Yeah. If it's if it was somebody else, I know that the person is actually of high maintenance. Mm. You get like me. I, mean, right? I, I like what you said because most of when I see all the streets or post online or mm. blogs, I just feel like okay, this is not this person is not for me. You get your, it? your type is somewhere. The one type. Assuming I was the one that posted you, you guys will agree. Say, so, oh yeah, first high maintenance. So moving on to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tosa DK says, uh, a dentist charged her three million naira to clean her teeth. So I don't know if that teeth is made of gold or silver or bronze or whatever, but she funny said thing is, I she saw had to a get up and leave on my tooth this morning. Mm. And I was discussing with um, our international reporter, Amaka. Mm. And I was like, she was like, oh, she had us cleaned. She told me the amount. Mm. And I'm like, eh? And how much? 30,000. Mm -hmm. Just to go and I'm like, and then I saw 3 million, and then I showed this to her. You can't even do the same thing. And then it came up. Between 6,000 <laughs> and yeah. 10,000. Yeah, and I was it like, really imagine though, we were complaining on 30K. Somebody's talking about 3 but million. But that's ridiculous. But I like 3 what million is very ridiculous. I mean, you're not even taking out a tooth or replacing it. You're just. Except, except she's not telling us the full thing she went to do, and I don't know what it is. Do I just want to rearrange it? <laughs> I was amazed. Up to three million. I was amazed that Tonto did not say I was already seated, so I had to do it and I paid the three million. Mm. Oh. You know, you don't know. Know. <laughs> have a bag. What are you saying? But you know, uh, no, if if I, if if you this is our excuse to run away. If she didn't have a debt before, mm, maybe. Maybe she would have used Even if she does not have a debt, I mean. <laughs> So just to work your teeth, three million, million. naira. Uh -huh. You must give me gold and diamond stones all over. Like after washing it, you will not put diamonds. Ice. You know that Bonner boy. Yeah, they will add yeah. ice and uh, I will add ice. everything. What, what's that? So that when I smile, <laughs> I will bring light in the darkness. <laughs> you don't understand. The three million naira is so ridiculous. You mm. can't just wash my teeth too. You, you know, I was actually this hoping <laughs> that she was going to say she was out of the country and maybe when she converted mm. the money. You know, but I think she's in Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. 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 Celebrity <laughs> dentist here. You guys don't know about him. Oh, wow. oh yeah, maybe it's the one. I sus I suspect it's the one, but um, I don't want to call his name right now mm. in case it's not the one. But I suspect it's the one. I heard it charges a um, very ridiculous fee for to get your teeth cleaned or your tooth removed or something. What does it add to your life after the cleaning? Like, you won't it, have to come it? back for a long time. Mm, how he long? uses laser, he has a how modern long? technology. Is it going to be modern? It's not for life. Normal six yeah. months standard. I mean, that's what I mean. I, I will not go there yet. The standard is six and months. And Doctor's excuse was so interesting. I can't imagine. If I'm if I'm if I'm in a shop, I will I will I'm telling you, I will stand up and they want <laughs> no, I would tell you that, okay, me. after cleaning it, what do I stand? Because you cannot just clean it or you will dry it. Afterwards, if you don't want to have a conversation with three million, you, thank you. You must clean it, but dry it under sun, and Imagine put diamond stones. And next thing that they come and say, I mean, that anyway, that one will not see that money to collect. Even if it goes to, I will not pay that money. I can't if I don't know that you are mad, I'm telling you. Tell which who is doing you three million for cleaning? People will fight about you for her. I would have done it and I would say, I'm so I'll send your account number. Come on, come on, call me. me. Call me out. I will even write you about beer. That call me out. I think she was too surprised to think that because that should have worked. She won't pay a dime. And it's but. so ridiculous. Three million naira for what? We will drag the dentist for you. I mean, you, you get a car drive. with three million naira. <laughs> you buy a house with three million naira. Uh -uh. If yes, yes, in some in some states and locations. I mean, in some states, it doesn't have to be like a full you house, but you can buy like a, a house with three million dollars. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, not my standard. I'm high maintenance, remember? <laughs> oh, see, let me tell you. <laughs> you see, you see, why did they tell you that real estate is lucrative? Because they are chopping 
money. Mm. A house that you probably spend nine, five million naira to build, and you're saying it's for fifteen 50 million naira, fifteen k, thirty, sixty something. It's time for us to wrap up. I think I want to change my mind now. It's going to be listed. I'm now. thinking about it too. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> what we think about this. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my very interesting co anchors, Ewa Witu and Ifeo Luwash, okay? And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.